to take you through about a 10 or 15 minute seated exercise routine. This is meant for anybody. Those of you who cannot stand, those of you who you feel unsafe standing, and those of you who just, it's, it's just not in the plans to stand right now, right? And this is really to show you that you can get a great workout seated. You do not need to stand to get a good workout. And what I'm gonna start you with is what I call the 10 man warm up. And basically all I do is go through all the different joints in my body or most of them and warm them up. Get that synovial fluid flowing. And the only way to get that fluid is to move your joints. So just like the oil that the 10 man or the scarecrow put on the 10 man's uh, joints, that's what we're doing for ourselves, all right? So to start off, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, pull the belly in, chest is lifted. Take a few deep breaths. Feel how good that is to just sit up tall. And remember, if you don't sit up tall a lot, it can be really hard to do. So you might need to take a break from it, right? Sit up nice and tall. Good, let's look over one shoulder and then over the other. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll set a timer and I'll do 15 or 30 seconds of one motion, or maybe I'll do in a minute, right? It doesn't matter, there's no magic potion here. Right? It's just movement. That's the main thing. Good. Let's do one more. Good. Now let's do ear to shoulder. Don't force it. Just let it go as far as it will go comfortably. Right? We don't want to feel pain. We, you know, if, if your muscles are tight and you feel a little bit of a stretch, that's okay. But again, pain, we want to avoid that. Right? Always a good rule of thumb. Good. Excellent, head back to center. How about shoulder rolls? Still sitting up tall if you can. Rolling those shoulders around. Remember the shoulders go in all sorts of different directions. So you gotta spend some time here. Rolling those shoulders. Good, how about the other direction? If that's comfortable. One way is gonna feel comfortable, the other way is gonna feel a little bit awkward. Good, how about shoulders forward and now shoulders apart that chest out, shoulders forward. This is how we sit a lot of the times. Let's reverse that. Open the chest, pull the shoulder blades together. Let's do it one more time. Shoulders forward, open the shoulder blades. Good, how about bend those elbows? I wanna warm up the elbows before I get a little bit more into those shoulders. Feet flat on the floor, knees 90 degree angle, right? I preferably not leaning back against your chair and preferably on a chair that has a little bit of a hard bottom. Right, we don't want to be on a cush cush chair because, I mean, you can be, but ideally not. Now watch my change. I'm going to lift my elbow up, only as high as feels comfortable. Again, a lot of shoulders don't like this motion. Don't do it. Right, exercise should make you feel better, not worse. Good. Let's do one more. Excellent. Now to the side. We're going to lift one shoulder and the other. And if you can't go up that high, don't. We don't need to go any higher than shoulder height, right? Do what feels okay to you. And we're warming up. Some of us need a longer warm up than others. I like a good 15 minute warm up these days. Good, excellent. Arms straight down, roll. Rotate the head of the humerus inside that shoulder joint. Again, only as far as feels comfortable. Still on our 10 minute warm up. There's lots and lots of joints just in those arms and the head. Good, how about our fingers, our hands? Squeeze, separate. And when I say separate, try to get as open as your fingers will allow in your palm, right? Doesn't matter if you look like me, what matters is that you're doing as much as you can. Good, how about roll those wrists around? Other direction. Still sitting up tall, belly's in, breathing. Let's take one leg out and roll that ankle. How about other direction? Yes, it'd be nice. You could put some nice music on in the background if you like. That is up to you. Let's go the other direction. If music is a motivator, then you should use it. Sometimes I like quiet. Sometimes quiet works for me. Other direction, gotta find what works for you. That's the name of the game, right? Especially when it comes to exercise. Good. 
All right, now what we're gonna do is take one leg up and the other. Only as far as feels comfortable, warming up the knee joint, warming up those quadriceps. Good, taking that leg out. If you can keep the foot flexed, great. Show me the sole of your foot, as close to pointing the toes. Good, excellent. Good, relax about wiggle your toes in your shoes. Wiggle your toes in your shoes. Excellent. How about up onto those toes? Warming up the calves. Kind of got those with the ankle circles. I think this is a great way to start your day. I think this is a great way for a midday break, right? If you're not ready for cardio just yet, this 10 minute warm up is a great way to just assess your whole body, get it moving. Good. We're going to go back. We're going to start working on those hips. And we're going to start with a little bit of a march. So again, belly in nice and tight trying not to lean back, right? We want to ultimately be able to lift our leg without leaning back. I mean, maybe you're just lifting a little bit and that's where you're at, that's fine. Good, belly in nice and tight. Remember to breathe. Taking in that oxygen. Good, good. Now we're gonna stay with the hips. We're gonna go out and in. For some of you, this might be a little hard, right? If your inner thighs are tight, especially if you're not doing any sort of lateral motion in your life. Lateral motion is a good thing. Good, side to side. Excellent. Excellent, good, good. All right, and now what we're gonna do is twist the one direction. We're not holding it, we're just twisting. You can see I do hold it for what, a second, a split second? but it's not a stretch. I don't want to stretch right now. I don't want static stretching. I want dynamic motions. Good. I want to go as far as feels comfortable. I love twist. They really help me loosen up. Good, all right. Now we're going to go back to a march. So we're going to get into our movement here. I'm just looking at the clock. I just want to give you about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes of motion here. All right, marching. Just this can get your heart rate up. Just this can get your heart rate up. All right, now we're gonna change it to punch in the arm and kick in the leg. One arm, one leg. Now you notice I'm on opposite arm, opposite leg. There's no magic there. If you're here, that's just fine. I always like the opposite because it gets just, I feel like it gets a little bit more of the core, but that's not research-based, right? So movement is good. It doesn't matter what that movement is. Good, excellent. Keep moving. Now what we're gonna do is change the legs to out and in, and we're gonna add an arm. Now this is one where I will make an exception, and I'll do the same arm, same leg, because it gets a little tough to do opposite arm, opposite leg. If you want to wake up your brain, do that. Try to do what's hard for you. See what your brain does normal and natural without you thinking about it, and then try to do the opposite whether that be same, same arm, same leg, or opposite arm, opposite leg. Good, excellent. Good, coming back to center. One arm, one leg. I mean, one, just the legs, sorry, just the legs. Now look, could you do both legs? Sure, but notice it puts a lot of pressure on your low back. So for some people, this might be appropriate. For others, it is not. You need to decide that. If you feel any pressure in that low back, I would do one arm, one leg. I think it's plenty. Now just the leg out to the side. Same thing here. Can you do both? Absolutely. Is it putting more pressure on your lower back? Yes. So again, if you're not sure, stick with the, the safer option. All right? Good. Feel that heart rate coming up? Okay. Now to the arms, we're just going to punch and pull. But I want you to get a little bit more of that twist in because we're not worried about the legs just yet or right now. Good. Punch and pull. And now we're gonna go out to the side. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Excellent. Good. All right. Now we're gonna get into some intervals, okay? So I'm gonna set my watch. I'm gonna look at my, okay, and we're gonna start with a jog. So we're doing 30 second intervals. There's no magic here. Just 30 seconds of one thing, 30 seconds of another three rounds of the whole thing. It's only four and a half minutes of motion, but it's four and a half minutes of heightened or, or intense 
or more intense than what you might do motion. And you'll see your heart rate's gonna get up even if we're seated. Come on, three, two, one, and now one arm, one leg. And I want you to go at a pace that's faster than you want to go, but something that you can maintain for 30 seconds. All right, so just a teeny bit faster than you want to go. Not that you can go, just that you want to go. Keep going, come on, come on. We've only been doing 50 seconds of motion. Can you believe it? Keep moving, keep moving. Three, two, one, and now those half jacks. Now, sometimes I will do both arms with my single leg. That helps get my heart rate going. But you don't have to do that. Out and in, come on, you got it. Keep moving. This is our first round. Come on. So my heart rate's going up, right? I'm in pretty good shape. Doesn't matter. You still, you can get a good workout seated. No one can ever tell me that, oh, I can't do that, I can't stand. Kick one arm, one leg, one arm, one leg. Remember, if your legs aren't working for you, that's okay, just use the arms. And same thing in reverse. If your arms aren't working, use those legs. Come on, come on, keep moving. This is where you start to say, oh, I don't wanna do this. I'm gonna slow down. No, keep going. Come on, we have like two minutes left of motion and that's it. Whew, come on, jumping jacks, half jacks, whatever you wanna call them. Keep going, keep going. Nice little mid-day break. Maybe you don't have time to go for a walk. And some people, this is even better than a walk because you get some different motions, right? But obviously walking is good. You can do it. Come on, keep going. Whew, we're almost done. You ready? One more round, let's jog it. One more round, let's jog it. Didn't I tell you it's only four and a half minutes of motion? Is that four and a half minutes more than what you would have done today? Maybe, and that's worth it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. My chair's moving. Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one arm, one leg. One arm, one leg. I feel like I missed that jog on the last one. Doesn't matter if that was the case. As long as you're moving, right? Again, there's no right or wrong, no reason to stop and reset if you mess up, right? There's no messing up an exercise. As long as you keep that spine straight, right? And have things to hang on to, be safe, then you're doing good. Come on, you guys, almost there. Half jacks, here we go. Half jacks. I do feel like we missed a jog, so we're gonna add it on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're almost there, almost done with this. This quick little seated workout. Come on, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds of this. We have 30 more seconds of the jog and then we'll be done. You ready? Let's jog it. So obviously I keep looking at my watch. What I do sometimes at home is I put my uh, phone on the table in front of me so I can see it. Right? Well, maybe I sit in the kitchen where I can see the clock and the second hand going around. Come on, keep going. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. Run it, run it, run it, run it. Move, move, move those arms, move those legs. Move those arms, move those legs. Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Heels out, bicep curls. You see how they got your heart rate up? Who would have thought, huh? Seated exercise, it works. It is an option. I wish more people would use it. If you're motivated to stand up, if you're able to stand up, great. If, if for some reason seated is all you got, there's plenty to do here, right? I haven't used, we're just gonna go outside nice and easy. I haven't even used all of the exercises that I know. Good. This is a great way to put on your favorite song Right, five minute song, do five minutes of motion every hour. You're awake, that's, if you're awake for 10 hours, that's 50 
minutes of motion that you've added to your day. It's just that simple. All right, good. Let's go back to just an easy walk. Good, take a deep breath in, reset that posture. Excellent, let's go up and down with the heels. Always wanting to cool down, always wanting to add on two or three minutes of focused cool down, just like our warm up. So you can do the Tin Man in reverse if you want. You know, lots of options here. Good. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna add on a little bonus. This does uh, involve standing, but only sit to stand. I think this is a great way to work your legs, and you'll also see that it will get your heart rate up. From here, all we're going to do is stand up and sit back down. So for those of you who might need it, maybe we could do this in front of a counter where you have something to hang on to, right? So you feel safe, stand up and sit down. If you've never done these or you haven't done them re repetitively, maybe you stop now. For those of you who have done sit to stands, this is a great leg strengthener. It's also a great balance exercise, belly in nice and tight. And guess what? It's what we do every day. So it's a good thing to practice every day. Because if you can do it today, chances are you can do it tomorrow. Let's do two more. So I think we did 10, if I counted right, one more, up and down. Good job. Sit up nice and tall, feet flat on the floor, roll those shoulders. Good. And relax. That's just how easy it is, folks. Thanks for joining me today.